Welcome to Local Business Spotlight, everyone. I'm Troy Thompson. Joining me today is Morgan Hill from Hill and Hill Financial. And today we're talking all about your taxes when it comes to 2020. Welcome to the so show. So good to see you. Okay, you ready for to be put on the spot? Absolutely. Okay, well, the SECURE Act passed back in January of 2020. Yeah, okay, yeah. how does that affect people preparing their taxes for this year? You know, one of the things that I found interesting is a lot of folks didn't even know that it happened. Well, what is um, that to begin with? Well, the SECURE Act stands for uh, Setting Every Community Up for Retirement Enhancement. Right. Um, well, there are a couple of big things that happen for folks to really be aware of. The first is the changing of the required minimum distribution age. So it used to be when you turned 70 and a half, this magical number from the IRS, you had to begin taking distributions out of your IRAs, your 401ks, those retirement accounts. Right. Well, that's now changed to 72. So one of the things that we talk about with a lot of folks is making sure that if they're in that transition, they don't miss the mark. If you miss the mark, there's sometimes penalties that can be assessed for not getting the dates and times and amounts correct. So that's one of the first things with the SECURE Act that people really should be on the lookout for. Okay, so you're saying it used to be 65? Well, it actually used to be 70 and a half was when you had to start taking distributions. They moved it to age 72. Why would they have moved it? What's the reason Boy. for that? Do you know why? Um, that along with other questions that I have about how does Washington <laughs> think, I'm going to add that one to my list. It's an excellent okay. one. I thought there might have just been a tax reason or you know something what? like that. Um, no, but you're bringing up an excellent point that kind of dovetails with that. Yeah. Yeah. is when they moved the age from 70 and a half to 72 for people taking it, they made a big change with people who would receive it as an inheritance. Right. If you're the son or the daughter, the niece, the nephew, not a surviving spouse, not perhaps a minor disabled child, they now said you have to take all of the money out of this account far faster than previous. What I mean by that, there used to be a process where if let's say I'm inheriting money from my mother. Yes. I could take my distributions over my remaining lifetime. My children could take part of it over part of their remaining lifetime. Troy, it was, it was decades that yeah. you had to take this money and pay tax on yes, the distributions. Of now that's shortened to 10 years. Wow. So the, the big move, and so one of the things that people want to make note of tax-wise is where are they from this age difference, but also what's the impact to their children. Okay, I got you. All right, well, let's talk a little bit about the required minimum distributions that were not required in 2020. Correct. All right, and how could that affect some folks filing their taxes this year? Well, one of the things that has happened that, that we've discovered is people sometimes would set things up automatically. And there were times where certain companies said, well, we're not going to have you take your distribution. And then others said, since we didn't hear from you and it was set up automatically, yes. it just happened. And many times it would be deposited to people's accounts. And I've met more than my share of our clients who go, I don't even remember getting it. Right. So one of the things you want to make sure is, is that when you're filing your taxes, that all of the forms are in and you double check that you actually received it and don't accidentally uh, overlook that 1099 okay. that you might receive. I got you. Well, I'm going to ask you a personal question sure. since I'm here. Um, charitable donations that I gave last year. Correct. Any changes? Because I know that changes all the time. Well, no big changes in that would affect us because yes. we're under the certain ages. But if you're 70 and a half or older, one of the things that got a lot of press with the SECURE Act yeah. is something called a qualified charitable distribution. Now what you can do up to $100,000 a year is you can donate directly from your IRA. Instead of taking that distribution, you can donate directly to the charity of your choice and avoid the income tax due on money you would have received. I, oh, okay. But does, I thought that also happened at any age bracket as well. Actually, no. When it comes to your IRAs, donating directly is called a qualified charitable distribution. It's been around for a while, but it got a lot of press with the SECURE Act. People yeah. said, I don't necessarily need this money and I'm charitably minded. I want to give it directly to that institution. Mr. Hill. Great information. Well, fabulous. Good to I be with you. you. Thank you so much. If you want to find out more information, there it all is up on the screen for you. Hill and Hill Financial, they'll take care of all your future plans. Back after this short break.